Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Razor and I am a JRPG guy. And welcome back to Star Ocean The Last Hope HD Remaster. In the last episode, we made our way here to the exploration base and we got every single chest. We bought one of every item from the shops and we also got all the data in this area as well. However, now we can do three side quests. The missing patient, leg collector, and egg collector. So let's enter the area down here first, the sick bay, and we should be able to set the side quest here. And you can see quests on the quest list there, okay. I guess this is a sick bay, right? Maybe it's not. I thought it might be, that's where all the people were sleeping. Maybe it's, maybe that's the resting quarters. Yeah, I think that's the... That's the living quarters. What am I doing? Yeah. Because they were in the pods. I thought they were like sick or something. So I thought that was a sick pay, but no. Yeah, here we go. Sure, why not? Okay, so she needs 10 insect legs. Alright. So how many of those do I have? I got 14, so I can already go ahead and complete the quest. But if you don't have 14, uh, I'll show you how to get them. You, they drop from Eddie Fagas, Fodges. Uh, drop from this enemy too. And you can also get them from the Poly Fagas as well. Wow, 10 eggs, all you get is one blueberry, but you do get EXP, you do get party SP, so. Okay, now we need to get eight of them. And I guess you got to complete all of them too. So we don't have enough for that right now. Oh no, this is a different one. This is Egg Collector. Yeah, this isn't... Yeah, Insect Eggs. Okay, how many of those do I have? Yeah. Only got five. So those only drop from the Dru the Druce. And yeah, the Druce. That's it. So you gotta fight the Druce enemies. These enemies right here over and over again. Okay. Well we'll set the other two quests first. Or no, there's only one more, the missing patient. This is a sick bay here. Yeah. This is where we get the missing the missing patient probably. The missing patient. Rich SRF002 crewman is missing. Find him and report back to Eri, the Aldarian doctor at the Aos exploration base. Okay. All right.
Okay, he's outside the base. Alright. Oh, we'll go ahead and leave here. Yeah, here he is, right here. Tell me about Airy. Alright, now we need to go back. You gotta complete all the side quests in this game in order to... Well, you get a trophy, but you also you also just want to complete them all any damn way. And you get 10 EXP and 24 party SP. Alright. So, we just gotta complete the egg collector and that'll be all the side quests for now. We also have orders too uh, that we got to complete. We got to complete all these in order to um, get 100% quest completion. So for this one we need to give her three white rice, which we own, five seaweed, and you get EXP, you get full, plus you get party SP. Okay, pickled plumes and gamble berries. That was a good experience. And these have orders too, the weapon shops. This is just like in Star Ocean 6. This one requires us to get five iron. We need silver, lizard skin, and lemons as well. Alright, so at this point... Should leave this zone here. And go fight some Dru Druist enemies and uh, get some eggs, insect eggs. Oh, you only get 20 save files. Kind of lame. I'll show you where to fight the Druid's enemies over here. Not this enemy, but I want to fight these enemies too. For the analysis. Right here, some more. I'm pretty sure these will be Druises anyway. Yeah. Or Druss. I don't know how to pronounce them. I guess it's like Druss. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you kill two enemies simultaneously, you get a uh, increased uh, full. And the eggs are their rare drop, so it's going to take you a while to get them all. Oh, I got one there. Just need two more. MP cost minus 20% during rush mode. Hmm. I don't think that's very good, but better than nothing, I guess. By the way, do not jump down because if you jump down, you'll have to go all the way around to get back here. Okay, I don't need to power that up. I did master the... Yeah, the insect one, yeah. You definitely want to master the insect one. To respawn the enemies, you just gotta leave and come back. But I don't like any insects this time around. So I have to leave and come back again. Looks like it's the same enemies. So I might have to... I might have to fight them and then... Get them to uh, spawn other enemies, but I'll do, I'll get the eggs off screen, and I'll be right back. As soon as I get all the eggs, if I have to, I'll go back to the other areas and fight the Druze enemies. Alright, I got enough insect eggs, and also I fought all the polyphagas that I needed to fight as well, so I have 100% date on that enemy. So now I'm 100% for Aos for now. 
So we gotta go complete the quest. And the shop quest as well. Nope, the other side. Huckleberries up. Thirty EXP, twenty party SP. Must be Mimbo twenty. Check that out. Piece of paper with earth armlet recipe written on it. Show it to Welch. Just looking real quick, hold on. Yeah, so some of the shop orders will have to come back later to complete. So, yeah, we will be able to come back here because we'll also be able to mine here later, too. We'll be able to get a character that can mine. Okay, all right, let me go back. We'll go advance the storyline now. Um, we're good to advance. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, let's go on in here and talk to him again. Where do we go to the Countess? Okay, here we go. Instructions for you. Come, sir. Left two. Right one. Clear. Steady. 
They repaired the Kalnas. Wow, it was trashed. And they fixed it in such a short time. Incredible. So this is Eldarian technology. This way. The design concept behind the warp drives we use in our ships actually comes from Eldar. The Eldarians' technology far surpasses our own. They have a warp technique employing subspace bubbles, one we couldn't implement. We had to use wormholes. What you see before you now are the fruits of that technology made real. The hull may not have changed much, but under the hood, she's like a ship from several centuries in our future. Amazing! Mr. Maverick, from this moment on, you're the captain of the new Kalnas. Me? A captain? You've handled your duties thus far admirably. I recommended you myself. The official order should arrive soon. But... Now, let me brief you on your mission. The new duties of SRF-003 Kalnas and her crew are as follows. You will investigate unexplored planets within warp range, as well as participate in the search for the lost Aquila. Miss Sionji, you'll be Mr. Maverick's first officer. Support him well. Sir! Faye Shifa Boleth of Planet Eldar. You will also be a part of the mission. Me too? Sir? Oh, I thought the three of you were already a team. Yes, sir. We are indeed a team. I happily accept your order, sir. Listen, Mr. Maverick, I know exactly what you want to say. But since the warp incident, the SRF has been severely crippled. All the other officers of Captain Class are injured and unable to handle the duties. I, too, have my hands full overseeing this base. Unfortunately, I can't even provide you with an adequate crew. This will be a difficult mission carried out by a select few. And right now, you're the only one capable of leading it. How about it, son? Do you accept? Uh, I'm only standing here today because of a string of lucky coincidences. I know I didn't earn this through my own ability. Raimi, FaZe, I'll be counting on the two of you. Of course. I'll do whatever I can to help, Edge. Together, we can do this. I stand with Raimi, Edge. I promise to be of service. I still have so much to learn from you, after all. I don't think you have anything to learn from me, but... Thank you, Raimi, FaZe. I am honored to accept the position of Kalnas Captain, sir. Very good. You may launch whenever your preparations are complete. I pray for your journey success. Sir! They're getting a bit ahead of themselves, though. We're not going to advance yet. We need to go see Welch at this point. And there's more we could do too. We could do our first private action of the game. Looking forward to that. Um, I do like the private action system in the Star Ocean games. Though it is kind of hard to do them all. You've already been contacted, right? This is our new Aldarian crewman. Phase. Wh what? You're just gonna ignore my joke? When did you develop such advanced ignoring skills? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Faze Shifa Beleth, an Eldarian. Look at this, even the rookie is completely unfazed. You kids, I'll be damned. You could try to be at least slightly businesslike when you meet new people, Welch. 
What, what is it? <laughs> it's a little late to be surprised, pal. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, you're one of these aliens, huh? Hmm. <laughs> you don't look very different from us at all. I thought you'd be all like, you know... Give me the tasty human meat! I... I'm sorry, Faze. She means well, I think. No, it's all right. I'm quite used to false preconceptions. Oh, I'm just kidding. Sorry, fake. Wait, fade, was it? Anyway, fail. It's Faze. Right, right, fame. So, about that monster? Truth is, those things are actually Earthlings, you know. Earthlings? After just two more molting seasons, Edge will be turning into one of those. So be careful you don't get eaten, okay? Ta-ta for now. Come on, Welch! Are you trying to traumatize him? Uh, just so you know, that's her idea of a joke, okay? Uh, of course, I understand. <laughs> Every encounter with uh, Welch is an unfortunate encounter. In every Star Ocean game. Nice. Hey, Alright, we got. Right we? Well, we we don't have access to these yet, but we can make the storm blade. Broken metal cutting blade. Can I get that by other ways? Or is that the only one in the game? Because if I can get a lightning blade later, I'd like to keep the cutting blade. Let me look this up real quick. Broken metal cutting blade. I guess I'll just go ahead and make it. Screw it. If I can get a cutting blade later, whatever, I guess. We get the data for it, too. Now, here's the thing about weapons of elements in Star Ocean. It's actually pretty bad sometimes because if an enemy resists the element or... Um, uh, they absorb it. You're just gonna hit, you're just gonna deal less damage, or um, they'll heal, you'll heal them, or you'll deal zero damage if they if they nullify the element. So, it's not exactly as good as you may think. I don't like elemental weapons in Star Ocean. Yeah, a sword made by repairing a broken metal cutting blade and imbuing it with the power of a wind gem. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'm trying to keep my episodes a little bit shorter because I have to do a lot of time stamping and everything and it's very time consuming. So the shorter the episode, the less time, 
time stamping I'll have to do. Um, so, I like to keep my episodes around 30 minutes. So, I'm in the video here. Thanks for watching. Later.